Hello friends. I hope you all are doing well. Today we will talk about process safety and its key elements. Let's start. Process safety refers to the protection of workers, the public, and the environment from the hazards associated with industrial processes. It involves the identification, evaluation, and control of potential process-related risks in the design, operation, and maintenance of facilities that handle chemicals and other dangerous substances. The goal of process safety is to prevent incidents such as fires, explosions, toxic releases, and other hazardous events that can result in injuries, death, environmental damage, and economic losses. Hazard Identification and Risk Assessment This involves evaluating the potential dangers associated with a process and determining the likelihood and consequences of an incident. Process Design and Control This includes the development of safe operating procedures, process equipment design and maintenance, and the use of control systems to prevent the effects of incidents. Training and Education Employees must be trained in safe work practices and be aware of potential hazards in the workplace. Emergency Response Planning This includes the development of procedures and training for responding to and mitigating the consequences of incidents. Management of Change Changes to processes and equipment must be managed to ensure that new hazards are identified and addressed before they result in incidents. Effective process safety management requires a proactive, multidisciplinary approach and the involvement of all stakeholders, including workers, management, regulators, and the community. The 14 elements of process safety are 1. Process safety information. Process safety information detailed information about the chemicals, processes, and equipment used in a facility, including hazard information, design specifications, and operating procedures. 2. Process hazard analysis. Process hazard analysis a systematic evaluation of potential hazards and consequences associated with the process. 3. Operating Procedure Operating Procedures Detailed instructions for safely operating and maintaining equipment and processes. 4. Training Training Programs for educating employees on safe work practices and emergency response procedures. 5. Contractor Management Contractor Management Procedures for managing the work of contractors and ensuring that they understand and follow safe work practices. 6. Pre-Startup Pre-startup safety review, a review of the design and construction of new or modified facilities to ensure that they are in compliance with safety standards. 7. Mechanical integrity Mechanical integrity, programs for maintaining and testing equipment to ensure it is operating safely. 8. Management of change Management of change, procedures for managing changes to processes and equipment to ensure that new hazards are identified and addressed. 9. Incident Investigation Incident Investigation, procedures for investigating and reporting incidents to identify the root causes and prevent future occurrences. 10. Emergency Planning Response Emergency Planning and Response Procedures and Training for Responding to and Mitigating the Consequences of Incidents
11. Compliance Audit Compliance Audits Regular audits of facilities to ensure that they are in compliance with regulations and industry standards. 12. Performance Management Performance Measurement and Management Programs for tracking and evaluating safety performance and taking corrective actions as needed. 13. Hazardous Communication Hazardous Communication Programs for communicating hazard information to employees and the public. 14. Employee Participants Employee Participation Programs for involving employees in the process safety management program, including providing them with the training, tools, and information they need to work safely. Examples Here are some examples. 1. Operating Procedures Standard Operating Procedures SOPs for starting and stopping a process, controlling hazardous substances, and responding to emergency situations. 2. Contractor Management Contractors working on a construction site must undergo a safety orientation and be provided with site-specific safety procedures. 3. Pre-startup safety review, a review of a new facility's design, construction, and equipment to identify and address any potential hazards before it starts operations. 4. Mechanical integrity, inspecting and maintaining equipment regularly, such as pressure vessels and piping systems, to prevent equipment failure and potential hazards. 5. Management of change, evaluating changes to a process, such as a new chemical being added, to ensure that new hazards are identified and addressed. 6. Emergency planning and response, developing emergency response plans and training employees on how to respond to incidents such as a fire, toxic release, or equipment failure. 7. Compliance Audits Regularly auditing facilities to ensure that they are in compliance with environmental regulations and industry standards. 8. Employee Participation Providing employees with safety training and involving them in safety-related decision-making, such as identifying potential hazards and implementing corrective actions.